Yet another dimension of self-interest to recognize, acting in your self-interest is not automatic. Rand does not endorse psychological egoism. The descriptive thesis that everyone always does, as a matter of fact, act to promote his own self-interest. No, just as it can be difficult to figure out which action, which course of action is really most in my interest, it can be difficult to do what's most in my interest. How? Why? I may not be in the mood, right? It happens. Has it happened to you? It requires time and energy, and sometimes I don't feel like it. It's generally good for people to exercise and eat healthily, but lots of people don't always do that, right? Because in the moment, you just want to lounge on the sofa and binge on House of Cards and pizza and those cinnamon sticks that they sell you from Domino's or wherever it is, right? It's like, yeah, have a good time. It's generally in a person's interest to plan for his retirement, right? To do some financial figuring and calculating and make decisions about ways of saving and then open, open the appropriate accounts and regularly sock away money. But people often don't do this. Why? Well, the calculations are daunting and saving money means postponing gratification. <gasps> you know, can't have that. I want that spiffier new car and so on. So we don't do it. Another kind of disincentive to self-interested action, you may encounter social disapproval, right? Other people are accustomed to others performing their altruistic duties. So when you say to the friend, no, I can't help you out this weekend, I've really got to attend to my own stuff, your own stuff, you know, yeah, my own studies or my own chores, or God forbid, maybe my, only, my, my own afternoon off that I've really been looking forward to, you'll get some dirty looks, you'll get some, curi you know, some very curious reactions. It requires a certain strength of character to subject yourself to that, to say no to the friend, to say no to the, uh, the United Way solicitor in the annual campaign at your company, to say no to the nice guy in the office, the likable guy who means well, who's ra you know, he's running a marathon to raise money for breast cancer or something, right? So it, it takes a certain strength of character to assert your self-interest. Again, acting in your self-interest is not automatic. And my next point is very, very closely related. You want to notice